All right, and thank you for joining me for this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, your host for this special edition show. As you can see, I had this beautiful brand new Mercedes-Benz EQS behind me here. And I want to thank Mercedes-Benz Canada for inviting me to this press event here, this media event, where they brought in a pre-production EQS sedan model for us to go goo goo and gaga over and drool. It's a beautiful car and I'm going to tell you all about the different specifics, so let me get right into it. Now the EQS is the first all-electric sedan from Mercedes EQ line. It's also their first model on their brand new all-electric architecture called EVA. It simply means electric vehicle architecture. And it really is designed for luxurious and executive class electric vehicles. Mercedes wants to fuse technology, design, and functionality, and even connectivity into these vehicles, and it has a whole lot of that going for it. The official name of the EQS sedan is the EQS 584 Matic sedan, and it will arrive in Canada and the United States in the fall of this year, and even in other parts of the country like Europe and beyond in 2021. As part of Mercedes-Benz plan, they call it Ambition 2039 initiative, they're working on offering a carbon neutral car fleet within 20 years. And as early as 2030, they want to have half of their vehicles globally featuring electric drive systems. Now that does include all electric and plug-in hybrids. Now although the EQS is a close relative to the S-Class as you can see, it is built on that all new electric architecture as I mentioned. As you can see the design has bow lines and a cab forward influence into it. Also a fastback with the, the rake of the rear. The EQS is clearly distinguishable from combustion engines, even at first glance, and Mercedes-Benz did that on purpose. So Mercedes-Benz engineers and design folks worked on aerodynamics. And as you can see, it's a beautiful design that actually achieves a drag coefficient of 0 0.20. Now Mercedes-Benz claims that this is the most aerodynamic production car in the world. And I guess they're right because this is actually in production now. Now one thing that's revolutionary that's coming from Mercedes on this vehicle is something called their digital light headlamp technology. Now they come standard in the EQS 584 Matic sedan. It'll actually even with a software update enable guide markings and warning symbols to be projected on the road in the future. Now the digital light has a light module with three extremely powerful LEDs in each headlamp whose light is refracted and, and directed by 1.3 million micromirrors. Boy, it's a lot to say. The resolution is therefore more than 2.6 million pixels per vehicle. Quite a feat. Now, this is a long car and a big car, as you can see. And what Mercedes has done to, to make it more nimble is something they call um, rear axle steering, which is pretty cool. It actually will turn the rear wheels up to 10 degrees to provide more of a tighter cornering and uh, smaller turning circles. And this is available with the premium package. You can actually get a turning circle of 10.9 meters because of this engineering, which really kind of puts it into the compact car class for turning circles and maneuverability. And becoming more standard in the higher end cars are self-presenting handles, a la Tesla, of course. Now here, I have a key fob. As you can see, the handles are presented. Even when you walk up in proximity with the key fobs, they will present and open the door. Now this vehicle does have power open doors, as you can see. However, when the full production vehicles come to Canada, it won't be offered initially because Mercedes has to work on the regulatory bodies to get approval for this and then activate the sensors to make sure that you don't hit anything when the doors open on their own. So now I'm in the interior of the EQS and of course it's luxurious, it's beautiful, it's uh, got everything that you want in an interior, but it is Mercedes-Benz. Now, it, as you can see, it's an expansive interior. It features leather seats, uh, a sustainable uh, Neotex dash, and wood grain trim uh, all around. Now, the standard uh, Mercedes-Benz EQS uh, uh, vehicles will come with 12.9-inch capacitive touchscreens with a centrally vertically oriented screen comprising the entire center console. But here as an option, you see the Mercedes-Benz UX hyperscreen, uh, which again is a standalone option that you can order. And it is really what sets this vehicle apart. It's a massive, from A pillar to A pillar, curved screen that incorporates three main display sections. One, a binnacle for the driver, 
the main infotainment session and also a screen with controls for the uh, front passenger. Now, this hyperscreen environment has adaptive software. So what that means is that it can adapt to your personal preferences and, and even provide personal suggestions based on infotainment, comfort, and vehicle functions that you use a lot. Now, this is the first Mercedes to offer the option of activating completely new functions via, you guessed it, over-the-air updates. Ah, thank you, Tesla, for driving everybody towards that. Now, certain features of the EQS can be ad uh, adapted according to personal preferences as well. And available from launch, there'll be two special driving programs for young drivers and service staff with some interactive games and even a demo program. Now, a new feature of the EQS is a visual cue in the Mercedes-Benz User Experience infotainment system that you see here that shows whether the available battery capacity is sufficient to return to the starting point of a trip without charging. Now, Tesla has been doing this for quite a long time, and it's nice to see Mercedes pick this up. In fact, it'll also estimate charging costs if you need to stop and provide you with that information. Now, sticking with the technology, there are over up to about 350 sensors that are in this vehicle. And these include, you know, distances, speeds, acceleration sensors, lighting conditions, uh, precipitation outside, inside temperatures, seat occupancy, all kinds of stuff. Now, one thing that this thing does provide is an artificial intelligence. Um, it's been designed into the software, and what this will give the user is that the vehicle can expand its capabilities on new experiences. Just don't give it the nuclear launch codes. Now, also, what Mercedes has incorporated into this vehicle is the latest of driver assistance systems, and of course includes all the ones that we are aware of. But what's new here is something they call attention assist. It analyzes the driver's eyelids and movements of the eyes through a camera, which is placed here in the center of the of the dash, and it will. Uh, and it's only with this option that you get that feature. Now, Mercedes also incorporates a HEPA filter, which is a high-efficiency particulate air filter. Now, this HEPA filter has an OFI CERT ZG250-1 certification, which is pretty cool. And this is in the area of viruses and bacteria. Gee, something that's really important to us now. Now, using pre-entry climate control, it's also possible for dr drivers to clean the interior of the vehicle before getting into it, which is pretty cool. Um, the particulate levels outside and inside are displayed. As you can see here, it's telling me that these are one part per million, 2.5, four parts per million, 2.5 ratings, so that they're good. Um, if the quality of the outside air is low, the system can also recommend closing the side windows and even the sunroof to keep the interior um, safe. All right, so showing you the rear seat room here, of course, tons of leg room. I had it set for me and I'm only 5'7", so you can judge that. Headroom for me is adequate, however, if you are super tall, you may bump your head, but the seat does recline a bit. It has some power functions, massage, all that kind of goodies. Now, each passenger in the rear also gets their own display, as you can see, for temperature controls, uh, watching movies, video games, all kinds of entertainment features. It's a very comfortable environment here, and I'm sure people will love it. All right, so for rear boot space or hatch, this is a fast pack, so it's a hatch. Of course, the remote lets you open it remotely. Uh, and it is a generous size. It provides um, 610 liters up to 1,770 with the seats folded down. That equates to about 21 and a half to just over 62 cubic feet. Now, one thing about the EQS is it does launch a, a new battery technology that Mercedes has developed with their supplier. Now, these batteries are significantly higher in energy density. Uh, it uses a usable content of 107.8 kilowatt hour battery pack size. And the innovative battery management software allows updates, as I mentioned, over the air. So things should get better over time with this vehicle. Now, they don't know the exact makeup of the chemistry, but they do state that um, cobalt content of the cathodes have been reduced to 10%. The rated range for this vehicle is 700 kilometers. Now, that's under the WLTP rating. And also, this is a dual motor vehicle, so it's an all-wheel drive as they have electric motors on both axles. 
Now charging, uh, Mercedes of course, like most other manufacturers, I'll pop this open, uses your standard CCS combo port for charging. It does support up to 200 kilowatts of DC fast charging. Oh, and if you're charging at home or, or public level two charging stations, it will support up to 9.6 kilowatts of AC charging. Of course, EVs support regenerative braking, and so does the EQS. In fact, Mercedes has three energy recovery levels built into the vehicle and a coast function, and they're controlled through paddle shifters on the steering wheel. It also supports one-pedal driving. Now, one thing for North American customers, and it probably will be similar to other parts of the world where this car is released into, but especially here in Canada, the EQS will come with a three years Mercedes Me Charge and Green Charging service. What that does is give customers the ability to charge at thousands of public charging stations coast to coast for three years for free. There'll be some specific uh, restrictions on that, but similar to what we're seeing from the other OEMs. All right, well, that's it for this edition, this special first look at the Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 4Matic. A beautiful, fantastic machine, and I can't wait to get my hands to drive one. want to thank Mercedes-Benz Canada again for inviting me to this media event to get a first look at something that's coming into Canada in only a few months, which is really, really interesting. Now, no pricing has been given on this vehicle yet, but, you know, if you look at the S-Class, the new S-Class that's available on their websites, uh, it probably won't be that far from that. So that'll give you an idea of budgeting. I, I mentioned availability. Again, this will be coming to Canada, the U.S., and many other parts of the world where Mercedes sells the S-Class into. So look, look to it to many other Mercedes dealers coming in the next several months. And they may even be taking pre-orders and reservations now, but check out their website. So thanks for joining me in this show. Again, everybody who watches me on YouTube and subscribes, thank you very much for that. If you haven't subscribed, please do, it's important. Always appreciate comments and feedback. I'd love to hear what you think of this vehicle. And if you're gonna get one, I'd love to, uh, for you to tell me as well. And of course, my Patreon supporters. I'm always very humbled by Patreon support. Thank you for that. You guys know who you are. I put your names on the, each, uh, the end of each and every show. Thank you for doing what you do and to continue to support me. Of course, please continue to follow public health guidelines wherever you are. We are getting through this pandemic. If you haven't got your vaccine, go out and get it. And continue to see what's going on in the EV revolution landscape. All kinds of things are happening. Lots of cars. Uh, lots of action, you know, makes my head spin. I can't keep up with it. It's exciting times to be watching the EV marketplace. So thank you again for tuning in. And until the next time, I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.